Apple's Vision Pro isn't going to be available until next year, and even then, we don't know when. However, these are available today, and they cost a fraction of the price of Vision Pro, and they deliver a full spatial computing experience on your Mac. These are the X-Real Air glasses, and they deliver a consumer-ready AR experience that is a bit like having a 130-inch IMAX screen strapped to your face. They've also achieved a world's first by gaining both flicker-free and low blue light certifications for long-term eye protection. They've got a retina-level display, a built-in speaker system, they only weigh 79 grams, and they've won a design award, and and, well, they just look like a pair of glasses. Oh, and they're $379, which is quite a bit south of the three and a half grand that Apple wants for Vision Pro. They do an awful lot of very impressive stuff as well, but what I'm interested in is how they work with this. Xreal is sponsoring this video, but everything you're about to hear is my own opinion. The X-Real Air, at first glance, just looked like a nice pair of sunglasses. That is, until you flip them round and notice these other lenses inside, and these are what deliver the image. There's loads of numbers involved here, so I will have to check my notes. I don't want to get them wrong. But basically, these lenses house a micro OLED display, and that has a resolution of 3840 by 1080 and a 46 degree field of view. And it has 400 nits of brightness, so it's a pretty serious tiny display. The package these things come in is absolutely mesmerizing. So you get two additional nose pads, which are these things here, so you can find just the right fit. And there's even a lens frame, which you can use to get your own prescription fit into these glasses. They've even got a sound system built into the frame with these little speakers in the arms. They've got loads of sensors built into them as well. So there's an accelerometer, a gyroscope, a proximity sensor, and a magnet, magnetometer, a magnetometer, I think? Trust me, there's just loads of tech built into these glasses. There's no battery in the X-Real Air. Instead, you connect them via USB-C with this lovely braided cable that comes in the box. You basically connect that to the arm, and then that goes into your Mac. There's also a three-step adjustable rake system on the arms, so you can basically move them down or up. It does feel a little bit unnerving to begin with with that noise, but it's completely safe. But it just means you can get just the right viewing angle when you place these over your eyes. There's also the light shield, which I'll explain later, and a lovely microfiber cloth to keep those lenses nice and clean, and a very lovely carrying case. It's already a very impressive package, but what are these like to use? Firstly, let's talk about spatial computing, because Apple would have you believe, if you watched the Vision Pro announcement last month, that they invented spatial computing. They didn't. In fact, Xreal have been ahead of them for a long time. Spatial computing basically blends the physical world with the digital world, and it enables users to interact with digital content as well as being aware of the world around them. And that is exactly what the X-Real Air do. Obviously, the most important aspect of this is that display, and the one inside these is an absolute corker. It's basically a tiny micro OLED retina screen, and it's incredibly sharp. Basically, as soon as you put these on your head, that first experience of the display is a genuine wow moment, and I think that's really important with these kind of devices. When it comes to sound, the speakers are very, very small, so you're not gonna get massive cinema-like sound, but they do a very good job given how small they are. However, the fact that these don't cover your ears means you can still use your favorite noise-canceling earbuds with these, and that is the best way I've found to experience audio with the X-Real Air. But what has got me really excited following all of the stuff that Apple announced last month is how these play with the Mac. This requires an app called Nebula, and the fantastic news is that it is compatible with not just Apple Silicon Macs, but also Intel Macs. And if you think about it for a minute, that makes these available to a massive audience. And the setup process is super simple. You download Nebula, you install Nebula, 
you open Nebula, and when it says connect your X-Real Air glasses, you connect them via that braided USB-C cable, and they just start working. Now, a quick disclaimer, I cannot show you what this looks like via this camera. It's absolutely impossible. You have to put these over your eyes to experience spatial computing and the fantastic display in here. One, you have to take my word for it, and two, I just absolutely recommend that you get hold of a pair of these and give them a go. Basically, these enable you to take the display from your MacBook and put it in front of you in this massive virtual environment. Immediately, that's a big deal because if you've got a 13-inch MacBook Air or a 14-inch MacBook Pro, you might struggle with screen estate sometimes. So the ability to take that display and make it much bigger without taking up any space in your room is huge. Having said that, I've been using the X-Real Air with my great big 16-inch MacBook Pro and and the ability to take that screen and make it bigger is also a massive benefit. And it gets even better because you can have either two displays or three displays in this kind of massive virtual NASA workstation. And the really smart thing is that those displays are fixed in place. So as you're moving your head around wearing these, those great big virtual displays stay where they are. And that makes it just like looking at a great big bank of monitors. Now you can do this in one of two ways. So you can leave the glasses like this with the lenses exposed. So you see your Mac display, but you also see part of the world around you. However, if you want a more immersive experience, you take the light shield and attach that to the front of the X-Real Air, and that completely blocks off the world around you. Personally, I found this method better. It's just more immersive. I think the ability to shut off the world around you completely and just have those beautiful big displays is better for productivity. And you can just take them off your head. If you feel like it's getting a bit too much and you want to see the world around you, take the light shield off or just have a break and put these on top of your head like any pair of glasses. I've used the X-Real Air for a whole bunch of purposes. So writing, like I've just mentioned a moment ago, and yes, video editing. And trust me, <laughs> Editing videos on this great big screen in front of you with a screen over here for your media bin and another one over here for the live preview of the video you're making is just game changing. And if you want, you can change the distance of those displays. So if they're a bit too close, you can push them back in the Nebula app and you can even kind of swing those two displays to the left and right, either in and out, you can zoom in and out, you can create this perfect video editing suite, which I can't do with this on its own, even connected to the studio display. It's just added a completely different dimension to my video editing. And again, because it's so immersive, particularly with the light shield on, you can probably tell I'm very excited about this. I never thought this would be the case. I am one of the people who is very cautiously optimistic about the whole spatial computing thing, and a Vision Pro is just, it's just too much for most people. This is so much more attractive, normal looking, and the way these have adopted spatial computing is genius. It's as simple yet as impressive as it should be. And the fact that these only weigh 79 grams and there's no battery to worry about means you can wear them for long periods of time. I didn't experience any motion sickness and there's no learning curve either. You just put these over your eyes and yes, immediately you have that wow moment. But once that's gone, you just get on with it and they're just very, very intuitive but these do so much more. When Xreal sent me the Air to try out, they also pointed me in the direction of an app called Spatial Cinema, which turns these into a pair of 3D glasses. They sent me some 3D content to try out as well, and hands up guys, I haven't watched a 3D movie for years. It was always a bit of a faff, but if you've got these in your life already, so if you're using them for you know the spatial computing stuff I've just been talking about, why not use them for entertainment as well? And watching 3D movies on these with the light shield attached in that massive virtual room is just incredible. You can change the size of the screen, you can have it flat or curved like a cinema. It is literally like having a cinema strapped to your face, albeit as a pair of sunglasses. The image quality from that micro OLED display, which by the way can go right up to 90 hertz in certain scenarios, is just perfectly suited to movies, whether they are 3D movies or regular 2 
2D movies. Again, I can't show you what that looks like in this video, but Xreal says that it's a little bit like having a 201 inch display placed six meters away from you. So hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea of the scale of this thing. There's so many other great ways to use these. For instance, if you wanna lock yourself away and really immerse yourself in your favorite YouTuber, they're brilliant for that. Going back to the spatial computing thing, if you wanna have your favorite podcast player over here on this display, and then the thing you're working on while listening to that podcast over here, and then maybe your calendar over here, you can do that. And you can use the Xreal Air with other devices. So for instance, you can use these with gaming consoles and smartphones. My good old mate Patrick Rambles made a fantastic video about these which dives into those use cases a bit more. I think it's time for my conclusion. The most impressive thing for me about the Xreal Air is that you don't have to shoehorn them into your life. VR is one of those things that I've watched from afar and admired, but have absolutely no interest in adopting. There's just too much faff and too much expense, whereas these are just a pair of glasses. You pop them on, you connect them to your Mac, and you just start using them. And the spatial computing experience they offer is incredibly impressive. Trust me, I'm very skeptical about this sort of stuff. There's a reason you've not seen any VR content on this channel. But the combination of Xreal Air and Nebula for the Mac has got me very, very interested. And the fact you can buy these today and they're compatible with M1, M2 and Intel Macs means there's a huge audience for them. You don't have to wait for Vision Pro to get into spatial computing. These are attainable and they offer a genuinely new and transformative way of working. So to find out more, click that link in the description and I'm off to use my NASA workstation. In fact, I'll just do it here. It's, it's here, isn't it? Brilliant. Right, come on, give me those three massive screens.